jury selection began today as the court system reports a new confirmed case of COVID-19, an employee who worked in the Cummings Courthouse. Court officials say that the fourth floor of the Cummings Courthouse remains open. The specific area is sanitized, cleaned and sanitized, and the worker is in quarantine. No jury panel members were in that courthouse today. Just another example of why millions of dollars are being spent on COVID protection. We're very excited with the progress so far. Court officials in Baltimore are pleased with how many people actually came to the Mitchell Courthouse for jury duty. We requested 100, and out of the 179 uh, of our citizens uh, appeared. Uh, now, there may have been uh, reasons for uh, them not coming uh, to the courthouse uh, that were cleared up before they came in. Uh, so I, I think that was a wonderful response from our, our citizens here in Baltimore City, and we're very grateful. We asked some potential jurors about their safety, the use of plexiglass to shield them, especially in courtrooms, and other efforts to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Everybody kept their distance at least six feet away. The seats were pretty far apart, um, so no problems whatsoever. It's pretty safe. They have sanitizer, they have um, wipes. The chairs are sectioned off for you to be distant. Um, it, it seems like they have the right idea inside. I'm glad that, that they do have something in, in, in place for us though, as far as how they have it set up. A cost summary from the Maryland Judiciary's Administrative Office of the Courts, dated September 18th, shows just more than $3.4 million has been spent preparing the state's 24 circuit courts for the pandemic. In addition, the Baltimore City Circuit Court has spent $205,000, including a $67,000 grant on COVID-related safety precautions. Because of the lingering virus getting back to normal. It is going to be a slow process, a staggered process. Uh, the most important thing for us is to make sure that everyone is safe uh, here in our courthouses. Now, circuit courts also get funds from their local jurisdictions. And Baltimore officials tell us as of July, the city spent approximately $4 million on PPE and COVID-related precautions. But the city does not break down how much of that actually went to the courts. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.